So it's been a little while since we talked about At Games or any of their products. Over the years, I've been a you know fairly harsh critic of theirs. I mean, if you look at my channel, every video I've ever done of them has stayed on the channel. All the negative videos with all the harsh criticism and all the positive stuff is still there as well. You can't erase the past, but you can create a new future. And that's what these guys have done. I've seen them do some really interesting stuff with you know their more recent products and several of their products are you know of my most favorite things that I own right now and in that list of favorite items of mine is the legends pinball machine now I've done several videos in the past highlighting different tables from the available pinball packs that they offer but it's been a little while and now I'm behind you know playing catch up testing out a bunch of games that they've recently released for the system from from my count there's now over 140 tables for this machine. And that number can grow even higher if you choose to run more games off of a PC through the machine. But myself, I, I like mostly playing what's made for it. You know, as I, I, can't, I can't complain if something doesn't work or perform well if it's not even made for the machine. So that's what leads us here. The Tato? Taito? Potato? The Taito Table Pack 2. There's also a pack one that I never got around to checking out, but if you guys want me to review everything I've missed so far in one video, drop a comment down below and hit that like button. I'll have to combine the, the latest Zachariah tables and the first Taito tables into one video, but I'll, I'll do it if you guys want me to. But back to the Taito pack two. So this set includes four licensed games presented by At Games and developed by Magic Pixel. So Magic Pixel, they also did the work in all the Zachariah tables. And, and you'll definitely see some similarities here with how the ball looks and how it reflects light. I mean, it really looks good, but does it perform just as well as it looks? Like previous devices in the Legends family of devices, At Games has continued to push out firmware updates that include improvements to the machine and new features. I mean, I think they pretty much put out an update almost every week. Now, after having played these new games quite a bit, they don't seem to have any issues with performance. No noticeable latency. The ball rolls nicely across the screen. There's no stutters. It's just very smooth and it looks great on the 1080p main display that they're using in the machine. So as far as the games go with this pack, we get four classic Taito arcade titles uh, turned into pinball tables. And that includes Chack and Pop, Elevator Action, Operation Wolf, and Zookeeper. These are all titles that I'm familiar with when it comes to the originals, but the main one I was interested in was Operation Wolf. And I'm happy to say, I personally feel that that game is the title carrying this package. It's really cool to have this machine with so many games on it and with more to come in the future, but like anything, not all the games that are included or are available will be a hit with everyone, including myself. So these four games, while they all play fine and the physics are perfect, I mean, they're not really among my top favorites available on the system, if I have to be honest, which I always have to, no matter what. Though, when I say this though, I I'm really only talking about Chack and Pop, Elevator Action, and Zookeeper. Those are like kind of lower on my list of favorites. Operation Wolf though, is definitely going to be in at least my top 10 favorites on the system. Not 100% where exactly I would place it. It could be in the top five. I don't know. I really have to go back through a lot of these games, but Operation Wolf definitely impressed me on this machine. So the positives for this pack, I, I think all the games are very competent. They're enjoyable but mostly they're more of that retro style of pinball with not a lot going on. I mean, that's the style some people prefer, that's some people don't prefer, it's just all, you know, gonna be up in the air depending on what you like and what you like to play. Now, there's still plenty of things to focus on as far as the goals go for each of these titles, but they are all fairly simple except for Operation Wolf. Now, one of the, the criticisms I have is that the music that's playing during all four of these games is very freaking generic. I'm not even sure where it's from. Uh, maybe it's just 
from some generic music that Magic Pixel has. Maybe it's actually from one of these games. Maybe it's an actual licensed song. I'm not sure, but it just sounds generic and I'm pretty sure it's the same song for each game. I wish they'd have each had their own special music that went along with the game that the license was from, um, but that's just not the case here. I, I think the sound effects are mostly okay, but yeah, the music is my, my biggest negative I have to mention. I mean, if it was more each title's music and sounds playing, I'd be like, holy crap, I would just kind of be sucked in and like the simplicity of some of these games wouldn't really strike me as much because I would kind of be em embraced by that license and that, that, that particular game, right? Otherwise, you know, some of these games feel like they could be anything is really what I'm trying to say here. Now, the reason I liked Operation Wolf the most, and I feel like that title alone carries the price tag, is that it went more in on the special effects and the novelty behind the gameplay. I mean, it feels more like what you'd expect with the license. So this game, it's definitely not a typical pinball machine you'd see in the real world. Now the other three, like Chagpop, Zookeeper, and Elevator Action, those three for sure. You, you could see those as real world pinball games. But this one, Operation Wolf, it's a digital pinball game through and through with the way they did this. So you have enemies coming at you across the board. You have your own character at, the, at like the bottom defending your, your base, essentially. At least that's what I gathered from it. Uh, you collect weapons and different abilities to stun or freeze the enemies that are coming at you. You launch missiles at their asses. Freaking nuts. You see uh, hit point meters and damage counters, explosions going off, changing those numbers. It's a really cool game, and it shows the potential for new exclusive content the Legends Pinball Machine could have with any number of licenses. Now, I'm not sure if the first title pack is like this as well, with one standout game, but like I said, if you want me to post a review of those tables, along with the new, or the newer, Zachariah Deluxe tables, let me know by hitting the like button and dropping a comment down below. Now, I'm definitely happy to have this pack on my machine, as it's cool to have some variety, but I do wish the entire pack offered more in the way of making each game stand out on its own. Like, where it'd be like, holy crap, like, you know, they could sell each game individually, but it's cool that it's a pack, but I feel like even as a pack, each game needs to, like, hold its own. And, you know... One way they could have done this at minimum would have been the music, like I, I've been harping on in this video. Now, is it possible they could get some new music added for each game? I mean, I don't see why not if they got this licensed from Taito, Potato, but I mean, couldn't they work with them, get some licensed music in this? But I, I have no clue if this is something that they see as important or not. I, I mean, I know they will be seeing the video, so hey, at games, I love what you guys are doing. You've been doing a lot of cool stuff, but please change the music in these titles. Come on now. Get, get somebody to work on that. I mean, it'd be really cool and make each one of these games stand out and be their own unique thing in a sense. Yes, music and sound effects bring you in. Like, it sucks you into the experience. It doesn't make the whole experience, but it helps the experience. You're, you're, you want to be immersed by these games and feel like, yeah, I am playing Zookeeper. I am playing Elevator Action, Chack and Pop, Operation Wolf, not something that just has a coat of paint over it to make it look like that. I know these are pinball tables and these games weren't originally pinball tables, but you know what I mean. The immersiveness could be even higher with the music and the, the sound effects incorporated in the way that I would expect for each license. So that's it. If you know, if you're interested, this pack, it's now available on the At Games website. I'll put a link down below. Oh, and also, if you've been looking for one of these pinball machines, the Legends Pinball, and you don't want to order online, I did just see a couple days ago at my closest Sam's Club that they had them in stock. They had a bunch of them. Um, and they also had like a new shipment of the Legends Ultimate Arcade machine. So if you're looking for either of those, it may be worth checking with them at Sam's Club. Uh, if you're looking for one of these machines, as I'm sure once people start seeing them in stores and 
you know, if they were interested, I, they're not really impulse buys, but you know, somebody might see it in store and then go research it afterwards, or they could be somebody who knows about it, like, holy crap, and just buy them type of thing. So I, I would imagine over the next few months, it's going to be harder and harder to get these in stores. So that's just a little heads up, a little beside the point thing. Did see them in Sam's Club. But hey, really do appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging with me. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace out and bye-bye.